हेलो एवरीबडी डॉक्टर आई एम डॉक्टर एस एस पाटिल प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बॉलचे इंस्टॉट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द एनालिसिस ऑफ पी एस इम विद पैराबोलिक टेंडन बाय स्ट्रेस कंसेप्ट स्ट्रेंथ कंसेप्ट एंड लोड बैलेंसिंग कंसेप्ट लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज द प्रिस्ट्रेस कॉन्क्रीट बीम विथ पैराबोलिक टेंडन बाय स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेंथ एंड लोड बैलेंसिंग कंसेप्ट फिगर वन शोज ए प्रिस्ट्रेस कॉन्क्रीट बीम प्रोवाइडेड विथ ए टेंडन हैविंग ए पैराबोलिक प्रोफाइल इफ द टोटल एक्सटर्नल लोड ऑन द बीम इज थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर पर मीटर ऑन द होल स्पैन कैलकुलेट द एक्सट्रीम स्ट्रेसेस फॉर मिड स्पैन सेक्शन बाय स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेंथ एंड लोड बैलेंसिंग कंसेप्ट the tendon carries a pressing force of 1000 kN now this is the a beam having span 6 meter the cross section of the beam it is 400 mm wide and 600 mm deep it is subjected to a uniform distributed load of 35 kN per meter so it is provided with a parabolic tendon having the eccentricity at the center as 100 mm and eccentricity at the end is zero and this is 1000 kN pressing force area of section it is b into d and the modulus of section it is bd square by 6 area of section b into d that works out to be 2.4 into 10 to the power 5 mm square And model of section Z BD square by six, that works out to be two point four into ten to the power of seven mm cube. So external bending moment, it is uniform distributed load with for a simply supported span WL square by eight W thirty five into six square divided by eight, it works out to be one fifty seven point five kilonewton meter. so let us analyze it by stress concept extreme fiber stress due to stress concept it is p by a throughout compression due to the when we transfer the when we take the pressing force to the neutral axis it is p by a throughout the section and at the mid span we have an eccentricity at the mid span we have an eccentricity so this eccentricity will induce a bending moment p into e this eccentricity will induce a bending moment p into e which induces bending compression at bottom and bending tension at top positive plus at bottom and negative at top so therefore plus Minus or plus P by Z. It is P is bending moment. Z is the modulus of section. Then bending moment M by Z. It is due to the load. It is bending compression at top and bending tension at bottom. So if we take the algebraic sum of all these, we get stress at top as six point five six newton per mm square, and the stress at bottom as one point seven eight newton per mm square. so we have determined by stress concept that means we have considered only stresses stress developed due to axial force stress developed due to eccentricity moment induced due to eccentricity and stress induced due to the ex- bending moment external bending moment now let us analyze it by using strength concept so in case of strength concept we are supposed to find out the shift of c line from p line c line is compression line p line is the pressure line in the the tendon we have the tendon line itself is p line which is the shift of c line from p line for the mid span it is determined by using m divided by p the m is the bending moment at that particular section and p is the pressing force so that is the shift of c line from p line 
so that gives us 157.5 mm that means if i see in the figure so this is p line so from here it gets shifted somewhere here that is m divided by p m is the bending moment at this section divided by p is the pre stressing force that will give us shift of c line from p line so eccentricity of c line it is 157.5 is the shift from that you have to subtract the eccentric uh, below you are having the p line 100 mm you have to subtract you will get 57.5 mm as the eccentricity so the extreme stresses due to strength concept it is c by a p must be equal to c for equilibrium c by a plus or minus c into e dash divided by z so it is c by a and this is c into e dash divided by z so which will give us the stress at top algebraic sum 6.56 newton per m square and stress at bottom 1.78 newton per m square so which is same as that of stress concept so whether we use stress concept or we use strength concept or we use load balancing concept your stresses at the top and bottom for a given section will remain same that you should remember if if you are, if they are not telling that means somewhere we have done a mistake so this is regarding the strength concept now next is load balancing concept so the upward uniform distributed load transmitted by the cable profile now please remember i will just explain it how it will transfer see if you take the mid section pre stressing force p is acting here pre stressing force p is acting here so that means it is inducing a bending moment of p into e it is inducing a bending moment of p into e right so that must be equal to so this particular induced bending moment what it will do it will create since the cable profile is the same that of bending moment profile for the udl since the cable profile is same parabolic because for udl you are having a parabolic bending moment profile so this will induce a upward pressure this will induce an upward pressure throughout that is throughout the span it will induce an up, upward pressure so that upward pressure will neutralize to some extent this downward load that will neutralize this some extent this particular downward load so we are con supposed to consider the net load acting net load acting so this upward pressure developed it is ph ph is nothing but you are the moment must be equal to upward pressure into l square upon 8 actually w l square by 8 where w c is the upward pressure if i take it is w c into l square upon 8 must be equal to ph or if i take w c it is 8 ph upon l square so ph is bending moment ph is bending moment so this particular bending moment will induce an upward load wc uniform distributed load so if we substitute the values we get 22.22 kilo newton per meter kilo newton per meter as the this particular upward load induced so net downward load will be 35 minus 22.22 that is 12.778 kilo newton per meter so now you should consider net bending moment because we are doing load balancing concept so for load balancing concept we are considering the balancing of the load for strength concept we are considering c and p line and for stress concept we are con considering only stresses so net bending moment it is the net load into l square upon 8 it is 57.5 kilo newton meter extreme stresses it is p by a plus or minus m by z because 
it induces bending compression at top and bending tension at bottom so therefore we get stress at top it is 6.67 newton per m square and stress at bottom it is 1.78 newton per m square so that means this also will give us the same stress as that of strength concept as that of stress concept that means whether we solve it by stress concept or by strength concept or by load balancing concept our answer of stress at top and stress at bottom for a given section should remain same and another important factor in stress concept we are considering only stresses induced due to pre stressing force stress induced due to moment of pre stressing force and stress induced due to total bending moment and in case of strength concept we equate p must be equal to t or rather c must be equal to p c is the compression force developed and p is the tensile force in the tendon c must be equal to p for the uh, equilibrium so we will we are dealing with c line we are dealing with c line not with p line so in case of stress stress concept we are dealing with p line we are dealing with p line so in case of strength concept we are dealing with c line not p line so therefore we calculate m by p that is eccentricity and again extreme stresses at top and bottom c by a plus or minus c into e dash by z where e dash is eccentricity of c line from neutral axis so again it will give you same stresses similarly when you go to the load balancing concept we are supposed to go for balancing upward load we have calculated balancing upward load we have taken net downward load and we have calculated bending stresses induced due to net bend, bending moment and p by a stress induced due to pre stressing force so this also will gives the same answer so the review question so stress in the concrete beam with a parabolic tendon having w kN per meter as the whole span l what if stressing pre stressing force is p so what is the net upward pressure developed can you guess the answer please it is answer is a 8 ph upon l square so these are the references used thank you thank you one and all